it's Teresa with ReeseDixon.com. We have just moved to a new place and suddenly we have so much more space outside than we ever had before and Addie is having so much fun. I cannot get this kid to come inside, which is awesome, but it's also really dirty. <laughs> it's dirty to play outside. And so every day he comes in just covered in dirt and water and leaves and I don't even want to know what else. So to kind of combat all of that mess without harshing on any of the fun he's having, I've come up with this project. This is going to be where he keeps all of his outdoor toys. So all the balls, all the shovels, every, everything he plays with in the water can all go in here. I don't have to deal with it in the house. And it's also safe from the dog and the elements. So I think this will solve a problem for all of us. What I've chosen to use is a giant plastic flower pot for a few reasons. It's cheap, and you know that's always motivating for me. It's gonna be fairly durable since it's um, not ceramic or clay or anything like that. Addy can throw his stuff in here and it's gonna take a lot of work to crack it. And because it's a flower pot, it already has these drainage holes in the bottom, which means that whatever he puts in here that's wet isn't gonna stay wet. It'll be able to dry because the water has someplace to go. So you can always use a wash basin or even a garbage can, um, but I think if you drill holes in the bottom, then uh, you'll be happier with the results you get. So after you've got your container, then you just need your spray paint. And I chose this, this kind here because it specifically says it bonds to plastic. They don't all, so that's really important to read the label if you're gonna be working with plastic. So I've already gone ahead and sprayed the whole inside this great green color, and I did the outer rim too, because that was just an easy place to stop. And so now, it's time to spray paint the outside. So to cover up my green, I'm just gonna take my drop cloth here and tuck it tightly around, and then get to spraying. I think I've got it. So now you can always stop here, but I'm not gonna miss a chance to make it even cuter and um, make a joke at my family as well. You'll see in a second. I'm gonna take this inside and pull out my paints and have a little more fun with it. Um, but if you wanna stop here, you could just leave it like this. You could spray it with a sealer coat just to give it a little extra durability. Uh, and then you could just get to using it. But I'm gonna paint a little bit more and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. So I have a bit of a snarky sense of humor, so I dug the idea of taking this pretty bright colored pot and just stating exactly what I meant by it. Put your crap here, not in the house. <laughs> so I uh, think that this is going to make me a very happy mom, so I get to mop floors less often. Um, and all of the stuff will be protected from the dog and have a good place to go. So I'm pretty dang happy with this. This is just gonna sit right here by our front door and I've got Addie's baseball junk and his sand toys and his bubbles. I never know where to put bubbles. All of that is gonna live in there and I'm gonna wash my hands of it. <laughs> so I hope this was inspiring to you and gives you an idea of how you can corral the mess in your life. So subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any other great ideas and follow us on the blog at reesdixon.com. We'll see you next time. Bye everybody.